It is August the 1st, when one of the world's largest transportation aircraft, an Antonov AN-124, starts its approach to Dusseldorf Airport from a slightly cloudy summer sky. An impressive sight, and also the starting signal for a multi-million euro project for Siemens Energy, because the Antonov is transporting parts of a large steam turbine from Israel that are to be repaired at the Siemens Energy site in Mulheim. A job not to be taken lightly, in the truest sense of the word. After all, we're talking about 55 tons of parts, 30 tons of rotor weight, and a few other stator elements, guide vane carriers, inner casings. That all has to be transported here, and we have to be appropriately prepared to receive it so that, of course, the diagnostic work can start immediately. This freight is not only heavy, but also valuable because the customer loses a lot of money every day that the turbine is not operating. That's why the clock starts ticking as soon as the Antonov lands. The pressure, time pressure, and deadline pressure is very high. From Israel to Mulheim an der Ruhr. Here is located one of the world's largest manufacturers of turbines and generators, a center of excellence for manufacturing, maintenance, and repair. We started planning in 2017 and built a service center here with an investment volume of 43 million euros. Industrial steam turbines from very small to large, let's say 250 megawatts output, are repaired here if they're damaged, as in the current case, or also if there are scheduled overhauls. The very fact that the customer has invested so much money in air transport to have their machine parts repaired in Mulheim shows the great faith they place in the service center. Damage had occurred due to an operating error and the customer really didn't know what to do. They knew they had a problem and they needed a solution. So, of course, they contacted us immediately. The cooling water was being supplied to the 450 degree hot rotor incorrectly, which resulted in thermal shock and in the material being warped. Damage with consequences worth millions. After opening the machine, they saw that the rotor was bent by about 0.5 millimeters, rather like a banana, and that there was a circumferential crack in the hot inlet area of the rotor. They quickly realized that they couldn't continue to operate the machine in this condition, and that they'd have to have it repaired. On the basis of this knowledge, we prepared a repair concept, defined scenarios as to which diagnostic step would reveal what findings and what it would entail in terms of time and, of course, cost. The special thing about this order is that the machine did not come from Siemens. It is a third-party product. As no drawings or dimensions were available, Siemens had to create them themselves for this purpose. Clearly, a 3D scan has to be carried out first, which means the whole rotor and the components are scanned and models are created, so we can also pick up from there to make spare parts and such. Once the geometry has been documented in 3D models, the next step is to measure the machine parts to determine the damage. Since we now have the option of using the Keyens 3D probe to measure points that we can't get to with an inside micrometer, I set three or four points, and then the program shows me the diameter. The first fault analysis is confirmed on the diagnostic line. The rotor has warped. Good advanced planning and quick diagnostics then allow a timely transition to the repair process. It was already clear to us that in order to get the distortion out of the rotor, we'd have to carry out heat treatment on the rotor. This, of course, can't take place in the horizontal position. The rotor has to be in the vertical position. For this alone, the rotor has to be tilted into the vertical position. That's normally not provided for with such a rotor, which means I have to have lifting equipment and construct fixtures for this. One of the strengths of this service center in Mulheim is the size and variety of the machines, which means that several processes can take place in parallel, and the individual repair departments can carry out their work in a time-efficient manner. We plot the temperature curve. The temperature curve depends on the material, the wall thickness, and the customer's wishes. This process can take up to a week. We had two days for the installation, but we were even quicker. The customer is very happy. 
But apart from the warpage caused by the thermal shock, there were other areas of damage that had prevented the rotor from running smoothly. We found out relatively quickly that the first row of blades had been affected. That's where the stresses had been the highest. This meant that the first row of blades had to be removed. We then measured the removed and dismantled blades and then manufactured completely new blades. New parts also mean new challenges. The difficult thing is that you have to find a new center line, a new rotational axis. This means that remachining and mechanical adjustments are necessary at various points in the bearing area and in the adjacent areas. This also includes laser deposition welding to determine the new rotational axis. What I have to do here on this shaft journal of the turbine rotor is to make up the undersize that has to be reworked by means of laser welding. This can be done with a laser because, in contrast to other welding processes, you generally don't bring heat into the material, which would then result in completely different scenarios, as with heat pre-treatment or heat post-treatment. Apart from the technical and mechanical problems, there are also material challenges. In order to be able to balance the rotor, a separate bearing point had to be flange mounted in the form of a journal. But Siemens Energy has a solution for everything, no matter whether it is a Siemens product or a product from another manufacturer. We're very well positioned because we have a broad machine park with different designs in our portfolio, as well as the corresponding know-how. The service center is therefore a center of excellence for all machine, brands, and products. The customer had a look at the plant here beforehand. A delegation came from Israel, from the customer's company, and inspected everything here on site and saw that they would be in good hands. They saw that not only experts, but also the necessary machines and experience are available here on site. The links between the service center and the main works in Mulheim also allow access to its extensive capacities, know-how, and experience. I'm talking from the point of view of repair management. That means we don't just carry out the repair, we also manage the repair. And finally, there is the last and decisive step, the balancing bunker. There we see whether the rotor is once again running correctly. The crucial test step is certainly the final high-speed balancing. We have installed a balancing system here in the service center that can balance rotors weighing up to 32 tons and up to a speed of 12,500 RPM. As a quality control step, this is, of course, once again, an exciting moment, where you can hopefully say that what worked in theory also works in practice, that the rotor can be balanced accurately and can then go on its way back to the customer after the final balancing. There is constant contact between the service center and the customer during the entire repair process. During the most important steps, the customer comes to the site in person to check that everything is running smoothly. The best moment is when a machine part is working perfectly again and can be handed over to a satisfied customer. On schedule, at the beginning of November, after three months of repairs. And of course, it's all about the capabilities and possibilities we have in our worldwide service network to repair even this type of damage. And I have to say, I'm very proud of that. You won't find many service providers worldwide who are able to handle such a project. The short turnaround time in the repair shop meant that the customer received quick and cost-effective help. The Siemens Energy Team stands for professional dependability and technical competence. Core components for the completion of important projects.